Hi guys, welcome back to the Big Sew Along. I'm Ginny and as always, I thank you very much for choosing to spend a little time with me. Today, I have three new pairs of drop crotch pants to share with you. Um, two of them are new patterns. One is a pattern that I have used before, but I haven't used it for a long time. Uh, before I do that though, I had a couple of people ask me for help on altering uh, McCall's 8452, which was the um, cargo skirt I did a couple of weeks ago. So at the end of this video, I have like a really short clip this explaining how I altered my pattern. I will leave timestamps for that below for anybody who needs to just reference that or anybody who wants to skip over it. Okay, so as you guys know, probably my favorite pattern for the drop crotch pants is this one, Berta 7546, which I have made, I think I have three of these. And I altered them a little bit. I made the leg a little bit longer. I went down a size, I made the leg a little bit longer, and I did not put elastic in the hem. So, and I've made them that way, like I said, I think three times. Those are my favorites. Because I like that pattern so much, I thought I would try Berta 6316, which looks very similar. However, um, it's not. It's actually made, the pattern pieces are different, so it's got actually a lot more volume in that, um, in the crotch. So, I'll show you a picture here of the pants just by themselves. And you can see this has a lot of draping in the middle here. Now this pant actually has um, a front and a back and then one side panel. I didn't really want to do that, so I just eliminated the side panel and incorporated it into the front and the back. Um, I also lengthened these, I think I lengthened these two inches. And again, you guys, for reference, I'm 5'3". Um, I can't remember. I do remember, I made a size 40 in this. According to the pattern, I should be, um, I think a 42 or a 44. But again, because they're so big, I went with a smaller size. I just went with a size that would fit over my hips at the waist. Okay, so, um, whoops. So this is what they look like <clears throat> just by themselves. This is the front. And then I have a picture of the back here. You can see there's a lot more volume in these pants. Um, the other thing is <laughs> I made these pants out of an old Ikea curtain. It is like linen and rayon, I think. But it's a little heavy for these pants. I think that they would drape more nicely in a nicer fabric. I just didn't want to use a good fabric until I knew I liked the pattern. Okay. So originally I thought I would like these with like a tunic over it. So I tried them with my So Liberated Studio Tunic, the one with the raw seams that we did like a couple of weeks ago. I, ha I just have a tank top underneath this. I kind of like this, I have to say. Um, however, I tried it with a longer tunic and I didn't like it as much. I felt like it was like if the, if the tunic is too long, it covers up all the draping in the pants and then you're kind of like, what's the point in having all that fabric there? So then, let's see if I can find my other pictures because they're a little bit out of order. I did try it just with a plain t-shirt. Uh, it's actually a vintage, a thrift store t-shirt that I just cut up and tie at the waist. I don't mind it like that. It's a little bit ho-hum, but it's okay. Um, I think the way I like these pants the best though is with this, um, I, I get this top name wrong all the time. It's the one from Tropical Research that I sew all the time. I will leave a link for that below. I'll leave a link for all these things below. But this I think is called the Big T. I think that's what it's called, you guys. I, I get it wrong every single time. This one is also in um, a lightweight linen and I really, really like these two together. I feel like with this pant, this particular pant, with all that extra volume in the front, you really need to wear something that kind of like shows it, I think. So, that was my first new pattern. Next, I came across somebody here on YouTube called Salty DIY. And she has, uh, she had a video for 
drafting a pair of big baggy pants. She doesn't call them drop crotch pants, I don't think, but, um, and again, they reminded me a lot shape wise of Berta 7546. So I downloaded her free PDF from her, uh, blog and I use that. However, if you don't want to use that or if you need a different size, cause it's just one size, um, the tutorial tells you how to draft your own or you can use a PDF and alter it. It's pretty simple to alter. Okay, so the only things I did to this, I did lengthen them two inches because they were pretty short. And I cut the center front and the center back on the fold because I didn't want to do um, a flat felt seam in this particular fabric, which is a really cheap polyester satin. Um, I used the, the wrong side of it in these pictures. It's a sort of like the crepe side. So I tried this first with a long tunic and this is my, I'm not going to remember the name of it now. It is the uh, tunic from Elizabeth Suzanne. Um, it, I think it's just too narrow for these pants. So then next, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not my favorite. So my favorite, I think with these pants is this, which is my, um, cottage shirt from the sewing workshop and this one is just in a lightweight cotton you can see in this picture that although this pant looks a lot like the berta pant it does have a little more volume in the crotch than the other ones or it might not it actually might just be this crappy fabric i used i'm not sure i like this pattern though it, it went together like a breeze she has like um a cutout pocket on it i just used a plain old inseam pocket for mine Okay, so that's the cottage shirt with these pants. And then the other way I really thought these were cute was with my Tina Gibbons um, Zelda tunic. But I have to say, I love this Zelda tunic, this particular one with everything. <laughs> I have the Zelda, I think I have, I, I, right now I just have two of them. Um, and I wear them both all the time because I really, really like it. My, um, what's it called? My uh, So Liberated I can't remember what it's called. I have a couple of uh, so liberated, like linen, tunicky kind of things that I also think would work really well with this. But those are both in the laundry right now. Um, okay, then so that is th those are the pants from Salty DIY, and like I said, those are um, a free pattern on the Sal Salty DIY website, and I'll link to her video tutorial as well. Okay, so the last pair I made. It's a pair from Oregonia that I bought on Etsy several years ago. I actually think this is July is the my four year anniversary here on YouTube, and I think that I bought these pants from her at the beginning of my YouTube career. So it would have been the summer of 2020. Um, and I made them then. I made them in a pinstripe linen. I do still have those pants. They're uh, a funky color the it's not quite white and the pinstripe is not quite gray so they're a funky color but i do still wear them pretty often this pair i made in a lightweight um poppy colored uh linen from haberman fabrics and i'm hoping i have a couple pictures of the back yeah you can see the back on these i think actually that of all of my drop crotch pants these might actually be my favorite so this one, again, I did have to lengthen it. So for anybody who's taller than 5'3", be aware. If I have to lengthen a pair of pants, it's short. Because I'm short and I really like my pants short. So just FYI. All right, so this, um, I'm showing these pants here again with my, um, with my Tropical Research top, whatever that one's called. This one here is in a rayon. And then what I have on right now, uh, which is the other thing I wear with everything all the time lately. And this is my uh, Vivian Shaochen Lawrence top. And all right, guys, I, I, I was going to say as far as um, with these pants, um, I, I think I like I've come to the conclusion that I like two different kinds of tops with these pants, either a tunic that comes about mid thigh or a cropped top that comes like high hip. I do really like these. If I'm wearing a tunic, I like it to be something that's split up the front so that it can have it open at the bottom so I can see the pants more. 
um, like I said in that um, picture with the Elizabeth Suzanne one, I think that the problem with that top with these pants, with these fuller pants, is that it's just too narrow to allow for that extra volume in the in the pants. So it looks like you're skinny on top and voluminous like stuck up underneath there or something. It's kind of weird. Um, I also, I, I mean, I like... I like chunky shoes, period, but I particularly like chunky shoes with these uh, baggier pants. I did try on a pair of flats with a couple of these, and I just didn't like it. I feel like the balance is like off somehow. Um, I'd be curious to know what you guys wear with drop crotch pants like this, with big baggy pants like this. And what else was I going to say? Oh, okay. So really quickly here, let's go to this um, little like two second tutorial on um, how I altered that pattern for McCall's 8452. I apologize in advance because my pattern is already altered, so I can't do it for you on screen, but I'll show you exactly what I did here. Okay. So this is the front piece of my uh, McCall's 8452. And the way I altered this was, mine's already altered, so I'm not going to do it again, but you'll see what I mean. Um, I measured the waistband, uh, the waistline, and I measured at the seam allowance, so 5 eighths of an inch down from the top. And I did not include 5 eighths inch on either side because there's a seam on both sides of this. So, once I figured out what that was, for mine, it was um, 46 inches. My hips are 40 inches, so I know I don't need 46 inches to get over my hips. I decided to make it easy on myself and reduce this to 42 inches, which means that I would be removing 4 inches from the whole, from the whole pattern. Now the pattern has 4 pieces, so I need to remove 1 inch from each piece. And on this one, you can see on, this is the side seam, the one with the pocket in it. This one over here with the notches, this is the front center front seam. And I literally just laid it down like this and sliced off an inch all the way down. That way I, I removed the inch, but I didn't interfere with the pocket at all. I did that exact same thing on the back piece. Now, I also wanted to lengthen this a little bit. There's a length and shorten line. I mean, you could do that here or somewhere else if you wanted to. I just added mine to the bottom because when you slice this off here, you reduce the volume from here to here. So by adding the extra length beneath this, you get a little bit of that volume back. And um, you don't have to do that that way because honestly, this volume is probably enough and you may not even need to lengthen yours. But in any case, slicing that one inch off right here at the center front and then the same thing at the center back is how you're going to reduce the size of this all around. All right, guys. So I hope everybody found that helpful. Everybody who's looking for it, I hope that was helpful. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this little review of drop crotch pants. If you guys have any suggestions for other patterns for this type of pant that I haven't seen yet, and you've seen all of them that I have, that I, that I have, because I've shown them here at some point. Um, so anyways, if you can think of another um, pattern for any of these, please leave me a link down below. I'd also be interested in knowing what you guys think about my top choices and if you have other recommendations. All right, guys, that is it for me this week. I don't really know what we're going to do next week. Um, I'm working on a couple of tops right now uh, that I hope will turn out really cool. <laughs> Maybe I can just show you this next week. And um, But I also have been, like, my inbox has just been flooded over the last couple of months with things um, from different designers and stuff that I've just found really super inspirational in terms of just style, not for, not necessarily for sewing, but just style in general. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, let me know below when I can do a, um, a little inspiration video next week. All right, guys, until then, I wish you all happy sewing.